I just wanted to take a couple minutes and give you an update on my LED and T5 trials. These plants have been in the system now for 10 days. Um, just a couple points on each light that I'll make. Um, this, the LED lights are running between 2 and 6 degrees cooler than the T5 chamber. I'm pretty excited about that. The one thing that I've noticed that I'm not happy about is if you can see these butter crunch lettuce, the leaves are all turned in and curled. And I think it's because they're not getting enough light intensity. I'll show you what they look like on the T5 side just to show you the, the huge difference. And this is the butter crunch, same thing, but not curled leaves. The rest of the plants, like the red sails and the romaine, I think are doing just about the same under both lights. I think the, the solution to the butter crunch is just going to be to lower my lights so that the intensity is stronger. I'm, right now they're at 15 inches, so I'm thinking if I put them down to about 12 inches or less, it would solve that problem because I really want these LEDs to work out. Um, other than the butter crunch, I'm happy with the growth. So just to show you, I bought these kilowatt electrical usage monitors that can tell you how much it costs to run the lights like per day, per week, per month, per year. So in the 10 days that I've had the system running, the T5 lights have used $7.02 worth of electricity. I have very um, low electricity rates here and my T5 that was my T5, so $7 for T5, and the LEDs are $2.47. So significantly less money, so I'm really rooting for these, T these LEDs, really hoping they're going to work out. But like I said, the Romains, they look good. This is uh, Adriana, oh no, this is the Red Oaks, and Butter Crunch, Red Sails, and Romaine. One thing about the uh, different design of the system itself, I had the top was just a floating raft system and my bottom I created this river. The only problem that I have so far is that this water is splashing up onto this first row of plants so they're constantly getting water on them and they're not growing quickly so I need to put some kind of plastic divider so they're not getting splashed like that. Um, it's also important to note that the reason these ones probably look smaller is because these ones are spaced 8 inches on center and the ones in my floating raft system up here are 7 inches on center. Thanks for watching and I'll keep you updated. Hopefully in the next couple weeks I'll have another video where I'll have lowered those LED lights and see what the difference is. I'm also in the end going to weigh the plants on each side and compare you know, the weights that I'm getting with the cost of electricity that I consumed. And that's it. Thanks for watching.